So here I am standing in front of a gator hole. Gator holes are these amazing structures that are created by a gator. What they do is they come in in the middle of this hole and they'll begin to slosh their body back and forth with their tail and their legs and they'll be pushing all the dirt up. What it does is, is it captures water. Even during the times of the dry season, which right now we're at the very end of the dry, what that does is that allows water to continue to be maintained. So a gator has a place to hang out and cool off where it's nice and cool. Of course, this is in the sun. I don't know how cool that is, but it, uh, it provides water for the surrounding animals. Deer and other animals can come here for water. Fish in an area where the water drains down completely during the dry. This will maintain water so that fish and turtle species can also survive through periods of extreme drought. Yes, you're surviving in an area where there's an alligator in the middle of it and you're its food. But you know, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. If you need water during the dry, this is the place to come. So you can see behind me where there's some new gator holes being formed. There's one here, there's one back there. You can actually see the drag that connects them, that connects up with some other big ones around. These gator holes are dug down where there's a limestone bedrock. You can see this fossiliferous limestone. This is all over South Florida. This is pretty much what Florida is made of. That allows gators to be classified as a keystone species. What's a keystone? Imagine an archway Right, where you have one side of the arch that wants to get fall this way and the other side of the arch that wants to fall that way. Well, the stone in the middle is what captures the energy of both of those arches and forces them into the other one so they support each other and that keeps the whole archway from collapsing. Well, that's what an alligator is. Because it's able to dig these pits, these gator holes, that provides water during times of severe drought, they actually provide a key role in the midst of the drought that gives uh, water and habitat for the surrounding animals and is able to maintain these habitats even during times of drought. So without the gator here, much of these habitats would simply fall apart. They would collapse just like removing the keystone from an archway.